Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion, and if you have been following our reviews of the self-contained liquid cooling solutions, specifically the ones from Corsair, then you know that uh, the most effective solutions are the ones with more surface areas in their radiators, hence the H100i, the last one we reviewed, performed very well since it uses two 120mm fans to cool it and it has a 240 millimeter radiator. Uh, the next step is of course the Acetec offerings uh, that are using 140 millimeter fans, in particular the H90 and the H110, uh, both uh, from Corsair that are offered with a five year warranty and comes in a, uh, it requires a case that has mounting for a 280 millimeter radiator and a 140 millimeter radiator. So let's dive in and take a closer look at these coolers and see how well it stacks up against the H100i and H100 and other high-end air coolers. Both the H90 and H110 are compatible with the latest AMD and Intel motherboards. And uh, since they both use an Acetec OEM, they are essentially uh, have the same mounting mechanism. You've seen this if you've seen the Corsair H55 review we recently did. And just uh, pull it up. See what the H90 package looks like. Inside you find the manual, also the warranty information, you get 140 millimeter fan, this is different compared to the uh, the fans used on the uh, H60 or the H100 and H100i, and compare that later. Take a closer look. Here you have a 4 pin PWM connector. And of course, the let's take out the mounting mechanism first. You have the Acetec kit mounting. And you have the main unit itself. And as with all other Hydro Series coolers from Corsair. It comes with a pre-applied thermal paste. Just remove that so you can see what it looks like. Need to twist it a bit. There you go. See that the even without removing the thermal interface material, you can see that it is a very high quality copper base, and you have the connector for the pump. You have a three pin connector for the pump and this is of course uh, recommended that you plug it into a header that provides full 12 volt so that the pump is working in full speed. Also have the uh, rubber hose and the 140 millimeter radiator. Now let me put this aside and take a closer look at the H110. It will have the same, well, almost the same uh, features except, of course, the larger radiator. And that the box is larger than even the H100 and the H100i. And here, the manual. Again, with the warranty information, you have a pair of 140 millimeter fans, which are pretty much similar to the one used on the H90. Here's a 4 PWM connector. Just grab the H90 fan here just to see that they are indeed the same. And this is the mounting kit. And pull it up and uh, show you each one. You have the 
essentially the these are part of the mounting kit for the front these are two-piece design with a uh, adhesive strip that attaches to the back plate and you also have uh, sort of these uh, mounting holes or screws so you can uh, put these into the corresponding uh, back plate whether you use an Intel or an AMD see there you have three options for uh, socket 775, 1135, uh, 1155, or 1156, or the 1366. And you also have the backlight for the AMD here. You have the uh, sort of the only bracket for the AMD and the Intel system. And you have the uh, locking ring, which is a new addition to the latest 2013 edition Hydro Series Asus Tech coolers. Uh, the older mounting kit did not have that locking kit, so you'd probably have to twist it to twist the cooler to lock, to put it in place, but uh, I'll show later in the installation video how that uh, locking ring improves the installation. You have uh, screws with washers, long screws with washers for mounting the uh, fan with the radiator into your case, or you can just mount the fan into the radiator. You have your I believe these are the LJ1011 since they are sort of larger threads there. Uh, mounting locks. You have more uh, screws with washers, long screws since it is a uh, it requires money for a pair of 140 millimeter fans. And you have the standard uh, thumb screws here for locking either an AMD or Intel uh, mounting kit with the Intel backplate. And here we have the main unit. Very large 240 millimeter fan there, and uh, check that connector. Similar to the H90, pretty much have the same pump and the same surface area at the bottom. Pre-apply thermal paste. Again, a three-pin connector for the pump, and even the same diameter with the flexible rubber tubing. And uh, let me just put this back in. How right, I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to install both the H90 and H110 since they both have the same mounting um, mechanism. The only difference is, of course, the in the uh, mounting of the radiator or the fan. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install those into our system. And we're going to run our benchmarks and see how well both the H90 and the H110 perform compared to other high-end air coolers. All right, there you have it. Uh, the results are a little bit surprising, to say the least. I immediately assumed that the H110 will be a runaway winner, taking the top spot. Well, it kind of did, uh, but the H100i was right behind there in uh, performance mode. But of course, the as I mentioned in my H100i review, the fan speed and fan noise with the H100i is uh, quite unbearable even in balance in uh, balance mode and uh, of course the H110 uh, the fan it has it runs at around 17 uh, rather at 1500 rpm at maximum it is a 140 millimeter fan compared to the H100i's 120 millimeter fan which runs up to uh, 2700 rpm and even the uh, H100, which I think it ramps up to around 2600 RPM, give or take 10%. So that is definitely a lot more noisier compared to the H110. And uh, even at full 12 volt, the H110 was actually, uh, you can, I was able to write my review with the fan running. And I couldn't say that, same with H100i. And uh, that is, of course, uh, you, that's why you can't just look at the numbers and just you know declare h100i is better this way but i would have you know it makes more sense when you can actually tolerate the performance of uh, the noise performance under those conditions because when the when you compare the balance performance 
they are pretty much uh, the uh, H110 is pretty much on on top of that and the H90 was admirably performed as well considering it is the only single fan setup uh, that we tested uh, naturally the tower air coolers are still superior uh, because of their size and they really do well once you overclock the system especially they they can take a lot more of the heat plus they they are also using 140 millimeter fans uh, uh, the H100 in terms of pricing the H100 can be uh, uh, had now for $99 uh, down from 119 originally and even I saw it as low as $70 which is a very good deal so you definitely grab it when you when you see those uh, the, that deal for H100 and the uh, with a $99 MSRP with H100 currently they're just trying to phase it out the H90 is similarly priced so it's all kind of hard pressed in between that if you can find the H100 still at that price you'd probably uh, you could decide whether you want the H90 or the H100 the H90 of course requires a 140 millimeter space on your case so that it's still case dependent but the H90 performs very well uh, in terms of uh, even you can still run a 7 volt the performance is still very good and you don't have to contend with noisy fans uh, the H110 the mounting will probably be difficult for most users since it is a 280 millimeter radiator and is quite big it's hard enough to fit uh, find cases that fit the uh, 240 millimeter uh, H100 H100i sometimes but uh, for retail price of uh, 129 it is the highest priced uh, air cooler compared or rather uh, self-contained cooler compared to the H100i which is 119.99 the $10 of course gets you performance that you can live with <laughs> not just strictly uh, in uh, that just strictly using the fans and of course the competition the close competition is um, NZXT's X60 which uses higher RPM fans I believe it goes up to 2000 something RPM and definitely uh, I, I won't be surprised if that will outperform the H110 in that regard just because of the fans uh, but uh, one huge advantage that Corsair uh, that, that Corsair provides is the fact that it has five-year warranty compared to NZXT's two years so uh, that is completely up to you to your users of course uh, the H110 and H90 are essentially uh, no extras compared to the H100i which has software adjustment and Corsair link adjustment and RGB LED and I believe the NZXT uh, uh, Kraken also has that the X60 uh, has LED as well and software control but uh, the in terms of Warranty five-year warranty is a lot is a lot of peace of mind compared to a two-year warranty and essentially it will outlive your systems uh, your cooling uh, your H110 and H90 will outlive your uh, System that you probably have right now even if it's a high-end system because within five years You can even if you upgrade once every three years you will definitely upgrade at least once and uh, you can most likely reuse it uh, I have to give these two a uh, gold award each. Uh, there you had some uh, the performance wise I, I what I love about the uh, these uh, H90 and H110 made by Asetech compared to the Coolit design H100i was the fact that definitely the fans are a lot quieter. Uh, they they don't they do not look flashy at all but uh, they definitely work uh, if you're case can support uh, the uh, the 280 millimeter and 140 millimeter uh, setup one thing I, I had to note though was the fact that I didn't like the the, the shortness of the fan cables uh, surprisingly the H100i which I noted in my H100i review actually had long cables and uh, it, even though this didn't need to since it actually attaches to the pump uh, the H110 and H90 have to attach to a motherboard or if you have an adapter uh, it kind of has to route all the way in the top especially if you have a case that uh, I, my case was a switch A10 and it didn't even have space on the side for me to put in uh, the the cable routing uh, that way I had to route it all the way to the top I had to use extensions and make sure that it's still flowing at 12 volt and uh, and set it up that way and also there was no included extra screws to mount the radiator directly it only included the, the long screws to attach the fan and the radiator into the case 
and there's also no screws for attaching extra fans which is a little disappointing because I'm, I'm not really surprised that the H100i didn't have extra screws to mount extra fans either but it still had screws for mounting it directly the radiator directly on the case so that's just something to note and also um, in terms of mounting it'll probably divide people uh, I really favor the cool it mounting system it's much easier compared to the uh, Asetek mounting but Asetek is easy enough the only thing with Asetek is that uh, as one user noted there were there are going to be some clearance issues with uh, some ash rock motherboards and the round backplate uh, they could easily fix this of course by updating the the backplate design and also the uh, there are a lot of small uh, items that you need to kind of assemble the two-piece locking mechanism and the metal mounting stud uh, uh, mounting pin that you have to push in through the the back plate these are a lot of uh, tiny uh, tiny items that you need to keep track of compared to the cool it's single mount and then a thumb screw or uh, and then the the four uh, mount the four standoffs is much easier compared to the Asetek mounting, but it's still the Asetek mounting is not hard at all, uh, especially compared to mounting large air coolers. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, both decent performance, so I'm still again going to give them a gold award just because there aren't that many uh, 140 millimeter and 28 millimeter that actually did not just. I'm 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 just glad Corsair didn't just throw in really loud fans in there just to get the performance ground. They actually used fans that you can live with and uh, run it in performance mode without driving you crazy. And uh, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. You can read the rest of the review by clicking below in the description. Also, subscribe for daily updates. You can leave questions or comments, and uh, also uh, hit it up, uh, hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com/slash HL Reviews. Uh, tweet us at uh, High Twitter. Twitter.com, you can tell that I don't use Twitter often, uh, Twitter.com slash uh, High Tech Legion and also join our forums, we are always holding giveaways, you can want to participate, you can join there, go to HighTechLegion.com slash forum, register and be a member and this is Ron, once again, signing out.